Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Wow, since we have last spoken, so much has happened. I mean, I don't want to touch on it too much because we all know what's going on right now and hopefully my channel can perhaps be a little escape from all the madness in the world right now. But I just want to say I hope you are staying at home and are safe and healthy. So today I just wanted to sit down and play with some makeup. I have not put a full face of makeup on for quite a while now because I'm at home, I'm not going anywhere. So yeah, I just wanted to play around. Um, I was looking through my channel and I was like, I haven't done a full on cut crease moment for quite a while now. So I thought that I would do that today and play around with colors that I don't usually. So I'm thinking like purpley blues, perhaps like a pastel purple as well. We'll see how we go. Before we get started, please ignore my stubby little fingers. At the time that I'm filming this, Australia hasn't gone into a full lockdown yet, but all beauty related practices have closed for obvious and good reason. Before the restriction came into play, I saw it coming, so I went and got my fake nails removed because who knows how long everything is gonna be closed for. It's a weird feeling because I haven't not had fake nails for almost two years now, but I wanted to get my fake nails off for a while now because I really wanna do them at home because when you're getting done every two weeks, they start to become really expensive but I just was scared to commit. So I was like, you know what? Now is the time once all this craziness is over. I wanna get like a little DIY do it at home nail kit. Um, but yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat with your nails, your, your lashes, your hair. But you know what? There are more important things going on in the world right now. So this is what we're working with. <laughs> if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give it a little thumbs up and leave a comment down below how you're keeping entertained during self-isolation. Give me some ideas. Personally, my boyfriend surprised me with a Switch the other week and I have been playing Animal Crossing ever since. I'm addicted. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so as you can see, my brows are already on and we are starting with a fresh, clean face and we're going to be working on the eyes first today. So of course, I am taking the P. Louise Face in 0.5 to prime and I'm just applying this above my crease for now because that's the only area we're going to be working on. Then we're going to skip to the face and then come back to the eyes a little bit later on. And as you can see, I am applying this product out past my brow as I know that I want this look to be super blown out and dramatic. I'm taking a black eyeshadow. So this one's from Sugar Pill in the shade Bulletproof. And I'm creating a guideline for where I want the bottom of the cut crease to be. And as you can see, I'm applying this above my natural crease to give myself more lid space to work with later on. However, I am following my natural crease shape. So it's kind of like a half moon. And then once I reach directly below the arch of my brow, I'm creating a little dip down and then swooping the tail back up. Then I'm just gently blending out that line. So I'm gonna dip into the Morphe 39S palette. This is such a pretty palette. It has some beautiful shimmers, some really unique shades. And I'm gonna take the shade Make It Rain and apply it on and above that black. As you can see, I'm really just packing that shade on. And then once it's on, we can go back in to blend out any harsh lines. Next shade we're going in with is Grape Mines. And as you can see, I'm applying that above that dark purple shade. Once again, just really packing the shade on and then going in and blending it out. Next shadow we're taking is from ColourPop. It's called Moonlit, a really beautiful like pastel-y blue. And again, I'm just repeating the exact same steps. Then I'm just going back in with the previous purples that we've used to re-intensify the look so that you can really see that beautiful gradient from dark to light. I'm taking some Garnier Micellar Water and getting rid of any eyeshadow that's below that first black line that we made. And this is going to really clean up and sharpen up the look. And then I decided I wanted to go back in with a little bit more black just to really intensify the edge of that cut crease. And I was really happy with how it was all looking. So I decided it was time to move on to the face and then we'll come back to finish off the eyes a little bit later on. 
So to start off my base, I just wanted to give my skin a bit of warmth, you know, a nice healthy glow. So I'm taking the Bioterry Brightening CC Serum in Sunny Flash. And I also like to use this sometimes if I have fake tanned my body but not my face. I'll just take a little bit of this on my fingers and just rub it in again just to bring some color back to my face and for that nice dewy glow. For foundation, I'm taking MAC's Studio Fix Fluid in NC20 on ColourPop's Complexion Sponge. And this sponge is actually from ColourPop's The Full Beat Sponge Kit. And it was my first time trying it out and I really enjoyed it. It blended and applied my foundation beautifully. So I'm really excited to try out the other sponges in this kit. And of course, I'm taking Tarte's Shape Tape in Light Neutral and applying this under my eyes and to the center of my face to add a little bit more coverage and to also brighten those areas. I'm picking up Huda Beauty's setting powder in Sugar Cookie on that same damp sponge and just pressing it into my skin to lock those liquids into place so that they won't move throughout the day. I'm taking Benefit's Hula Bronzer to quickly contour the hollows of my cheeks before taking this cute little bronzer from Mecca Max and applying this above that contour and around the perimeters of my face just to warm up my complexion and give my skin a nice bronzy look. And I'm adding a little bit down my neck because I haven't left my house in who knows how long and I'm looking pasty. <laughs> I'm taking Ofra's blush and bronzer in format. Now I chose this one because I just wanted the blush to effortlessly blend into the bronzer because we're gonna be going in with a really fun highlighter later on. So I want all the attention on the highlighter. So I just want the blush to be nice and neutral. Moving back to the eyes, I'm just quickly blending out the edge of that eyeshadow so that we don't have a harsh line between the eyeshadow and that base. I'm taking this super fun P. Louise base in a vivid violet and applying that all over my empty lid space below that cut crease. And then once I reach the edge of my eye, I'm creating a super sharp, clean line from the bottom of my eye up to my brow. And this is going to act as a guideline for where my winged liner is going to go later on. I'm going to quickly set that base using some translucent powder because we are going in with a glitter glue and we don't want to be applying a glitter glue on top of a wet base because that's just going to create a wet mess. <laughs> and we're applying a glitter glue because I find applying a shimmer on top of a sticky base makes it look more pigmented and intense. And the shimmer we're going to be going in with today is called Hear From It from that same Morphe palette. It's like a beautiful purple shimmer with like a blue reflect to it. It's so pretty and I love how it looks. Let's work on my lower lash line before finishing off the lid. So I'm applying a black eyeliner in my waterline and then you guys know the drill. I'm repeating the exact same steps that I did to create the cut crease. So I'm applying that dark purple shade as close to my lash line as possible before blending it out with that purple and finally applying that blue to create a nice smoky blended look. So I'm grabbing the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and I'm picking up the shade I'm In It. Now this looks white in the pan, but it has this beautiful light purple shift to it. So I'm going to be using that as my highlighter today. So I'm popping that in my inner corner and on the high points of my cheekbones. And guys, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with how this looked. I'm taking Benefit's Roller Liner to create a nice big wing. Well, it's big for me at least, considering I have quite hooded eyes. Um, but as you can see, I'm using the edge of that pastel purple as a guideline for the point of the wing. And then I'm also creating a little point in my inner corner. I just really love this look. I find that it really elongates the eye and creates kind of like a sexy vibe. And then I'm going in with Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Liner in Distortion because I decided I wanted to add a little extra something something to the lid so that it really sparkles and stands out. So just popping on the NARS Climax Mascara to my top and bottom lashes before going in with Huda Beauty's Noel Falsies. I'm seriously obsessed with this style and I think it just really finished off the eye look. So now all we have to do is the lips. 
So picking up another Huda Beauty product, this is her Power Bull Matte Lipstick in Staycation. And I chose this color because I really wanted to keep all the attention on the eyes today. And also just because it's a really beautiful, cool toned nude and I love shades like this. And there you have it. This is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and you love how it turned out. Stay home, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I am sending you my love and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.